the height. So I can make everything, I can make, I can follow everything. That wall right there, keep bringing it up to eight feet. That one up there. I say bring everything down to eight. Let's see how it look. Then if we need to go up one, we just come back around and go up one. Or six inches or a foot. Just make everything there. The thing eight. is that the rebar has to be adjusted. Well, I mean, we, we can cut, cut the all the rebar yeah. bigger than. Yeah, cut it bigger so and we can just cut it. at the end, but we'll have the flexibility to make adjustments. Right, right. Sometimes you gotta do that because you want flexibility. And you, and you might have to work twice at the end, but at least, but you may not. All right, let's go. Seven, seven and a half inches. I said just start at eight so we can get going there. And we can just adjust from there. Cut it at eight, six. Cut everything at eight, six. And then we go eight, and if we need to go up six inches or a foot, we just add another board. All right. That's all. That's it. It's All right, hope everyone is doing well. Staying positive, another video. This is officially part 11 of the longest concrete retaining wall. And as you guys can see early in the video, communication and flexibility is key. You wanna make sure everything is on point once you start building. So we are checking it outside. We came back inside, checked it, and believe it or not, we went back outside and checked it again. But once the decision is made, whether it's me, JD, or one of the guys in the field, we rocking and rolling. Like I said on my last thumbnail, there's no I in team and there's definitely no big eagles here at All Access. So if you're looking to get some work done, you want it done the right way, hit us up. If you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, Sacramento area, all our information is below. So I'm going to let this video ride out a little bit. I'm going to jump back in a little later. If you guys got any questions, any comments, leave those down below. Let's get into this video. Right, you guys know we rocking and rolling when it comes to these concrete retaining walls we use the 2 by 12 method uh, we pretty much got muscle memory I've been getting some comments on why we don't use the uh, plywood method just just what we prefer to do there's nothing wrong with the plywood method um, we got skills with those as well and actually I got a job that I bid it on where we might use the plywood method so be on the lookout for that now if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so hit that like button that helps out our algorithm we're getting close to this 10,000 mark uh, subscribers so definitely appreciate you guys we are on uh, Instagram you can see some behind the scenes look and we also on Twitter kind of messing with tiktok but it's straight comedy over there getting the facebook back up and running as well now you want to stick around in this video you're going to get a chance to see the drone crash from about 30 feet when we was pouring this concrete wall the good thing is uh turned it back on and got right back up in the air so any questions any comments hit us up you need any kind of work retaining walls modern landscape drainage decks anything primarily outdoors you guys can hit us up all our information is below let's get back into this video appreciate you guys
All right, when it's said and done, it's probably gonna be about 20 videos for this project. The longest concrete retaining wall on YouTube. You can check out the link down below. Uh, that's chapters, not chapters, but it's part one through 11. And plus I got some bonus videos for this project. So once I, once again, it's gonna be a, probably about 20 videos. I am gonna make one main video for the entire project. It's gonna be about 20, 25 minutes. So you guys probably wanna order some popcorn from Amazon and get ready for that. That one should be coming out in the next month or two. I'm not going to promise it next week. Uh, it's a lot of footage. I got over four terabytes of data here, video for this uh, project, but it's going to be a nice one. So definitely appreciate you guys. This was a big project for us. It was kind of our championship. Uh, we pretty much knocked it out the park for the most part. And whatever we didn't knock out, we learned from it, and we're going to take it to the next job to make that one run smoother, which is in Castro Valley. And we also got one in Vallejo. We got one in Berkeley. We got one in Oakland, and the phone is still ringing, so definitely appreciate all the potential clients hitting us up. I know I've kind of been slow and delay on getting back to you guys, but I promise I'll get back to you guys. And, yeah, let's get back into this video. You want to stick around to the end. We got some before and after pictures of it, and we also got some good drone shots of us pouring it. So appreciate you guys. Hit that like button. That helps us out. That's all I ask for. Oh, subscribe to the channel as well. Let's get back to it.